And how has your hitting, you know, changed over the years as well? Are you different at the plate than you used to be in some ways? Oh, yeah, hundred percent. I, you know, fixing things, always fixing things, always going around the cages, trying to videotape, trying to get as many flips as you can. Um, staying cool and calm when you're hitting. That's just kind of my thing. Like, don't get too frustrated because that kind of defeats the purpose of the day. So definitely. Yeah, it's so well said. Um, staying cool and calm is sort of like the way to go and it defeats the purpose if you don't stay cool and calm, but also staying cool and calm everywhere, right? Off the field. Yeah. How has off the field training helped? You know, because that's, again, my philosophy is we do a lot of training off the field to help your performance on the field, right? Whatever you're doing off the field, if you're doing a lot of it, you're more patient, you're more poised, you're more present. It actually spills over to, you know, your ability to hit a baseball or throw under pressure or whatever you need to do. How is that, you know, tell us about that dynamic. Yeah. So basically what I do off the field is just kind of breathe. And that's it mostly in my classes on the daily. Um, so, you know, when you're doing a presentation in class, when you're just kind of sitting in class, trying to focus in class, when you're just breathing in and out, focusing on your breath, you know, trying to get through one minute at a time, you know, it's kind of, it kind of helps me on the mound because you're kind of in the present. You're not in the future or the past. You're just kind of in the present. You're doing your own thing one minute at a time, breathing, you know, that kind of, that, that's helped me through uh, pitching and everything. I love it, Luke. Um, has that helped you with this whole COVID thing as well? Oh you know, yeah. hundred percent. Just... Yeah. Um, you know, when some days you're in the house, uh, 24 seven and some days you can get out and, you know, you have to take advantage of those days. And, uh, you know, if you're, if you're uh, hot, one of those days, you're not really uh, focused, uh, that kind of a waste of a day that you're uh, outside. So. You know, yeah, really... I love it. I mean, I love the sort of here and now focus both, you know, like when you're out there, performing right but also when you're just living your life that here and now not getting too too much in the future too ahead of yourself right and using the visualization to create your future not the fear worry thing that a lot of people do right a lot yeah. of people get caught up in fear and worry yeah.